Everybody. Everybody. Russian tourists uh, like blah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Daniel production channel Namto Sunauga. My name is Daniel. This is my mom, Yana. This is Kasia. <laughs> so, we continue to watch your requests and uh, we reacted to Geography Now India. We can react to Russian version of this video later if you want and uh, there are some people who want this. So, it will be very soon. You wanted us to react to another video from this channel about India. It will be the states plus territories of India explained geography now oh from this funny channel this, this funny guy very funny guy yes we like him very much he is very f one of the funniest uh, blogger <laughs> in this channel this is his channel he is uh, one of the <laughs> funniest uh, blogger uh, which I saw uh, last time. Before watch this reaction please subscribe to this channel if you haven't done this yet. Put thumbs up, write comments, share this video with your friends and uh, don't forget about the uh, notification bell uh, so you can watch a lot of videos about Bollywood, Hollywood, India videos like this and uh, my Hindi lessons, uh, there are a lot of uh, Bollywood stuff in this video, so it will be interesting to everybody. Фух, я так быстро никогда не говорил по-английски. Да, слушай, что с тобой, тараторка? So let's enjoy. We do. We do. We know. We don't. Uh, okay. You know what I mean. So let's just jump into it. The 29 states and the seven union territories. Andhra Pradesh, the capital, Amaravati. Now this is an interesting state because it kind of has like the fastest growing GDP in all of India, over 16%. Interesting building. Over here they speak Telugu and this guy wrote this play which is kind of considered like the most prominent Telugu play in all of Indian history. Otherwise they're famous for the Kuchipudi dance, one of the eight Kuchipudi dance. And uh, yeah, they have great beaches and caves. Arunachal Pradesh, capital Itanga. This is the region that's kind of disputed with China, although it is administered by India. In order to get in as a foreigner, you will need a restricted area permit. Otherwise, culturally, it kind of takes cues from Tibet, you know, the whole like Buddhism thing going on. There's quite a few Buddhists here. People here are super friendly. They're famous for their wood carvings and their carpets. Assam, capital, Disney. Now, if you watch the India episode, you'll know that I talked about the seven sisters. Very good uh, uh, tea. Assam language. Uh, this place is known for uh, there is having the Assam nicest tea. Awesome tea. And the silks mm -hmm. were kind of made based off of what they actually ah! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> My mom uh, scares uh, I is afraid. afraid I uh, scared. of uh, I... these uh, animals. Uh, <laughs> I hate. I hate it very much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> we didn't expect this. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, okay, no, ладно, успокойся. Все будет хорошо. Все будет хорошо. All is well. 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 Let's continue. Okay. I hope it's last time. <laughs> and uh, the longest bridge opened up in 2017 over here as well. Assam. Awesome. Bihar. Assam is awesome. <laughs> this is kind of like cool. the Buddha state. Lots of famous mm. sites for Buddhism. Supposedly they have the Bodhi tree that Siddhartha got mm. set under. Otherwise, on the Hindu side, I was told that they're very big on Ram and Krishna. I was also told that they're very hardworking people. Chhattisgarh, capital Naya Raipur. From what I was told, this is kind of like a somewhat militant-ish type of area. They're known for producing a lot of coal and they are kind of one of the poorest states. And there is a noticeable community of people that kind of have Maoist slash Naxal ideologies and it kind of clashes with the main Indian government. But otherwise, generally the people here are just nice, but there's just a little bit of controversy, that's all. 
Uh, it's one of the popular in Russia. Yes. Everybody. Russian tourists uh, like blah. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Go to go. Now this place is famous for a few things. First of all, it's kind of like a desert, and they have one of the largest salt deserts mm. in the world. They have this forest, which mm. has the last lions. Wow. Your in the world. Oh, I forgot Gandhi is yeah. also from here. They're one of the number one ease of business state in India. The people here are very good at doing business, and they're really good at trading. Also, no alcohol is allowed in this state, but that's oh, okay. Oh, it's great. Yeah, basically, uh, people that can handle money really well come from Gujarat. Haryana, capital Chandigarh, which is shared with Punjab. Haryana. Haryana, I was told, is kind of like the rougher, tougher brother of Punjab. It's known as like the wrestling and boxing capital of India. And they have one of the highest male to female sex ratios, like there's more men than women. And this place is famous for having a lot of people that are hired to become bodyguards for other people in other states. Like this is the bodyguard state. Himachal bodyguard state. <laughs> This is kind of known as the state that hosts the Dalai Lama, but it's actually kind of known as like the beautiful holiday destination that Indians love to visit. It's known as oh, why they what? One of the snowiest places in all of India. He's American. Otherwise, again, yeah. they take a lot of cues oh, from their Tibetan. That's fine. Right. Maybe. Mm -hmm. That's fine. But yeah, uh, cool mm. state, lots of culture, lots of beautiful landscape. Uh, people like to visit for, for uh, vacations. Jammu and Kashmir also has two capitals: summer one, Kashmir, the god, mm -hmm. winter one, Jammu. I have to be very, very careful with this one. Why? Because if you watch the Indian episode, you'll know that mm -hmm. Pakistan and China and India yes, are all yes. kind of Kashmir is like, yeah. Yeah. It's it's one area. Basically, the area that is kind of operated by India, we'll talk about. Besides Lakshadweep, it has the highest percentage of Muslims in all mm -hmm. India, mm -hmm. about 68 percent. It used to be ruled by these Muslim states. Yeah. And it's funny because like the people here are so nice and welcoming, even though they've gone through like multiple wars. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like the world's most beautiful. Conflict zone. Jharkhand, capital Ranchi. It's kind of like uh, the sibling of Chhattisgarh. A lot of the people here kind of also have the same Maoist ideology. However, it also does have one of the holiest sites in Jainism. Well, how do you pronounce it? Shikharji. The Shikharji, known for having a lot of minerals that they mine, and uh, famous cricketer Doni. Oh, cricket. Well. Karnataka, mm -hmm. capital Bengaluru, formerly known as Bengalore. Mm -hmm. The capital Bengaluru is kind of known as like the Silicon Valley of India. So <laughs> Otherwise, they're known for having the Hampi ruins, and uh, they mm. speak Kannada, or uh, is that how you pronounce it? Kannada, 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 one word. Kerala, capital Tiruvannakkam. Kerala, oh. I think uh, Dilsa was uh, shot in Kerala. Jia mm. Jale, uh, what is the song? Chaya Chaya. Mm -hmm. It uh, mm -hmm. is in re this region. Yes. And spread the Christian gospel. And today, uh, you see kind of like a lot of Catholics and Christians, mm -hmm. and they all kind of speak Malayalam, mm -hmm. a bit of a tongue twister. Mm -hmm. with me. Malayalam. It's not Malayam or Malayam, it's Malayalam. Malayalam, okay. Malayalam. And yeah, Kerala is kind of like the state that's like doing pretty well overall in a lot of things, like literacy and HDI and all that other stuff. All the other states are like, hmm, maybe we can kind of take pointers from Kerala. Madhya Pradesh, capital of the heart of India, oh, a history right? state with tons of religious and historical sites. You have the Bimbeka rock shelters, you have the uh, Khandra temples, which kind of depicts all those, uh, you know, Kama Sutra, sexually explicit a lot of temples going on. Mm -hmm. A lot of you have told me to mention the Bhopal gas tragedy that happened in 1984. And I was also told that the people here seem to be really big devotees of Ganesh. Maharashtra, capital Mumbai. Mumbai is Maharashtra, okay. Populous, third largest in the area. It's kind of like the New York and Los Angeles of India. Mm. It's like the economic hub and Indeed. the entertainment hub. Bollywood is over here. Tons of people flock yeah. over to pursue their dreams. I mean, aside from all that, though, they do have a lot of, like, Marathi forts and, like, historical mm. sites as well. But, yeah, Maharashtra is kind of like the central nucleus that everything kind of builds off of and 
expands outwards from and pushes India forward. Manipur, capital Impad. This is one of the seven sister states. A lot of the people here, just like all the other seven sisters, have a little bit more of like an East Asian look to them. They're known for having their own distinct hill tribes. Five-time world amateur boxing champion Mary Kom came from here. They're also known for having these cool floating islands. Floating islands and boxing women. Meghalaya, capital <laughs> Shilong. This place is known as the abode of rain and mm. they're kind of like the wow, water people of India. These two villages get the most rain in all of India. Mm. They have really interesting mm. matrilineal tribes and they have really cool foggy hills. Wow. But yeah, cool hill people with their own mm. customs and uh, the water people. Mizoram, capital Aizam, the land of blue mountains. This is the most forested state in all of India at over 90%. Pretty eco-friendly. They even have eco-tours. It's kind of like the Costa Rica of India. The people here are just really chill and they just kind of like <coughs> sell their handicrafts at the market. All right, so that's the halfway point. Just very quickly before we move on to the next one, just want to say thank you to Cetera, our sponsor for this video. Cetera is a really cool geography learning game that you can actually okay. download and... Nagaland, capital <laughs> Back to this it's like the most Christian state of India, but they also still kind of retain their own indigenous tribal cultures and customs, famous for the Hornbill Festival. And it's funny because, Hornbill like, Festival. they're very westernized, but they know that the tourists come in, and so they kind of have to, like, put on their traditional costumes and put on a show. But it's like, hey, eh, whatever, and whatever makes us funny. <laughs> Odisha, formerly known as Orissa, capital Bhubaneswar, known as the land of cyclones. It's also known for being like the ISRO's launch site for their satellite programs. Mm. This is one of the three states that never broke up throughout all of Indian statehood history. It's kind of known as like the state that bridges the north and south. They speak the Oriya language. They have an amazing oh. wetland and mangrove park where you can find one more language. Elephant, probably <laughs> the famous landmark being the Sun Temple of Konark, Punjab, capital China. Punjab, thank God. Punjab? Punjab. Punjab. Punjab or Punjab? A lot of you guys have stuff to say about Punjab. Overall, a lot of we say Punjab. Punjab. In Russia. The most loved state in India. No, they're not in Russia. They got really good food, really good nice English people. Punjab. They have the largest Sikh community in all of India. Ah, yeah. Oh. Amritsar. Amritsar. Rajasthan, capital Jaipur. The land of Rajas or kings. It's the largest oh. state in area at 341 square kilometers. It is also one of the states that never broke up. And there are just endless one of the biggest. Mm -hmm. He said uh, the territory of uh, Russians. So. Я не очень понимаю, что слова. Я не успеваю, как бы, за ним, честно говоря. The land of Rajas or kings. Rajas. Rajas. Ah, Raja. Okay, Raja. Raja. Stan. Okay, okay. No, the Russians fight. King. Supposedly, I was told they have like the best henna artists. Keep in mind, food-wise, they keep things very spicy, and it is at about 75% of the population the most vegetarian state in India. Vegetarian. Kings in the sand. Sikkim, capital Gangtok. Now, this is an interesting one because it kind of joined Gangkong. India in 1975 to kind of avoid the Chinese. It used to be its own kingdom, and these people are very similar to the people of Bhutan. They can kind mm -hmm. of generally understand each other's languages. Lots of uh, Tibetan Buddhist type of culture going on here as well. And it is, as of right now, the most environmentally friendly state in all of India. It is almost completely organic, as in they don't believe in using chemicals or pesticides in their agriculture. Very clean air. They love nature. I would like to live in this state. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> Tamil Nadu, something familiar. Tamil? It's like Chennai Express, this buildings. So mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I was told they are big fans of Rajnik Ant. Telangana, capital Hyderabad, the <laughs> state of India. They were split up from Andhra Pradesh in 2014. I was told it's kind of like the whole, you know, Catalina Spain thing where they're like, hey, we're making a lot of money, but you guys are dragging us down, so we're going to kind of split off and make our own thing. And then Andhra Pradesh was like, no, you can't do that. And they're like, yes, we can. And we're going to take Hyderabad. They're like, no, you can't do that. And like, yes, we can. Make your own capital. Yeah, <laughs> anyway, they're also famous for Tollywood mm. or Telugu Hollywood and it's interesting because they still kind of retain a little bit of the Persian culture that was brought over from the Mughals and Nizams you can find it in things like the painting and their shadow puppets Tripura capital Agartala 
I was told, is this even India? It's like the state that very few people even know much about. It's like all sides of their state are surrounded by Bangladesh. So no shocker, they have a lot of Bangladeshi immigrants. Uh, apparently, I was told they like to play horse polo. But yeah, uh, I think out of all the states, uh, they are kind of like the biggest anomaly. It's just the mystery state. People probably come here to hide out and avoid the authorities when they're on the loose. <laughs> Uttar Pradesh, capital lockdown. This is the Taj Mahal state. Ah, and it's kind Uttar of like, a, oh okay. dang, where did that baby boom come from? You guys just like exploded in population in the last <laughs> few years. And now it is the most populous state. It's also home to Varanasi, one of the most famous cities in the world for Hinduism. Jain yes, everybody is there. knows like, yeah, about Varanasi, I think. Mm. Goa and Varanasi. Daily. It's very key and important there? player in all of India. You or cannot have India without First Goa, second Varanasi. This place actually has some of the holiest sites in all of Hinduism. It has the Jim Corbett National Park, beautiful mm. mountains. Again, I was told these people are super nice, so very welcoming. I was just told to tell you guys that Urvashi <laughs> Rantala is from this state. West Bengal, capital Calcutta, or Kolkata. They changed the spelling. This is the last Calcutta. state Calcutta. that never broke up in all of India, technically. Consider the fact that it broke up from East Bengal, which became Bangladesh, but yeah. These people are kind of also known for having some of the best sweets in all of India. They're also known for having some of the best mm, literature like and sweets. academics. Some of the greatest minds from India, like this guy came <laughs> here. No. They're also known for being very strong devotees to Durga. Sweets and academics, West Bengal. Now we reach the Union Territories, the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, capital Port Blair. This place is known for being home to one of the last uncontacted human tribes on Earth, the Sentinelese. You are not allowed to visit their island. It's also home to India's yeah. only volcano. Chandigarh. Now this is interesting. It's the capital of both Punjab and Haryana, but it's also a Union Territory in itself. Basically, this was a planned city that was built because they gave Lahore to Pakistan. And it was kind of made to be like a Lahore. model of affordable it, housing. Uh, for it's a new city. and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Diu. There's the interesting thing. Gujarat, like I mentioned, does not allow alcohol. Maharashtra does. So where do they meet in the middle? These Union Territory. <laughs> These places are kind of known as like the places where both states can kind of join together and have a beer. And uh, Daman and Diu, I think it was also Portuguese, wasn't it? Yeah. Lakshadweep means a hundred islands. Basically, in a nutshell, the majority of people here are Muslim and they're very similar to the people of the Maldives. So you find a lot of ads people living on these narrow sand banks and they have like an island culture. The capital territory of Delhi. Keep in mind, this is a separate entity from New Delhi. But yeah, uh, this is kind of basically where all the politicians go. Fun allocation, the worst drivers in India, I was supposedly told. And even though they are a territory, they still have their own legislative assembly. It's, a, it's weird. But yeah, busy people making laws, causing controversy for the rest of the country. <laughs> and finally, Puducherry, capital Pondicherry. This is the French-speaking area of India. Here you can also find Oroville and that is that once again thank you to you guys all the indian geography peeps that helped me out with this video by giving me information i hope i got most of it right but yeah in a nutshell india has so many different types of people groups and languages and cultures and traditions and customs it's like you can't summarize it all in one video and obviously it's a beautiful country, and I'm so glad and honored to have done this video. Thank you, stay cool, stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs>
but I don't remember where I heard this. <laughs> Maybe yeah, there from... are a lot of locations which we saw uh, in other films. Um, uh, for the instance, uh, Virzara, Chennai Express, uh, uh, Amritsar, Amritsar uh, from Rabin and Benadi Chadi, uh, Fana, location Fana. Fana. Oh, Delhi, of course, we is, saw uh, it. I heard some uh, names. Uh, uh, Tamil Nadu, Kerala. I know Kerala because it's like uh, Dilse location, mm -hmm. Jammu and Kashmir, okay. Uttar Pradesh or something else. You know a lot of facts about India and you mm -hmm. read about it. For me a lot of new facts uh, and I'm interested to know more about uh... Boom! What is this? Boom! Ребята! <laughs> Уже середина января, или даже больше. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, why it today, okay. Okay. Что там про гусениц было, какой-то кошмар? Да что ты... Надо было ему про это упомянуть, я расстроилась. Very beautiful place is like, uh, what is this region? Rainforest? Rainforest, waterfalls, it's very beautiful. А вот из village, где, где, что за деревня, где постоянно идут дожди? Maybe some uh, te tectonic uh, place uh, with uh, like some weather stuff. I don't know. But it's warm uh, rain, not like in Russia. I've never been in India, yes. and uh, wait, now wait. I am very very interested uh, to travel to India. And we see that it's a very different uh, country, different regions. Mm -hmm. and Wow. We in Russia, I think, uh, we have uh, Moscow, St. Petersburg, maybe Crimea and uh, Black Sea region. A lot region of villages. And other. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> other Siberia. No, no, in Russia we have got a lot of beautiful yeah, yes, places. But, uh, Kamchatka, yeah. for example, Ural. And uh, so on, it's very, very different. Siberia, it's very different region. But, but not so different as uh, in this video in India, I think. Yes. Uh, it's very, very colorful and uh, di very different. Colorful. 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 Uh, colorful. So we hope you enjoy our video. Put likes, <laughs> put likes, uh, thumbs up, uh, whatever. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't done this. Haven't. What is if, you haven't. if you haven't done this yet, write comments, share this, share the, what is going share on? Share this, share this video, video with to your, your friends. friends. With your friends. What's with going your on friends. with us? Friends? Ну какая тебе разница? Так смешно получается. Я не знаю. Вот берешь видео и share with your friends. And put this one, this guy, he is waiting for this. As this guy? See, as you said. This small guy this waiting small for... Guy. <laughs> we need to finish, I think. It's... Uh, we are tired. <laughs> what do you want to <laughs> say, <laughs> Kasia? Goodbye, everybody. Hungary, happy, 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 happ